Senator John McCain is campaigning in Florida. He's the Republican presidential nominee. Hi, Senator. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. I'm on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. It was a bloodbath here yesterday. Senator, as you know, a 500-point drop. You said the fundamentals of the economy are strong, yet your campaign has released an ad saying that the economy is in crisis. Clarify this for me. doesn't seem as if both things can be true. Well, it's obviously true that the workers of America are the fundamentals of our economy and our strength and our future. And I believe in the American worker, and someone who disagrees with that is fine. We are in crisis. We all know that. The excess, the greed, and the corruption of Wall Street have caused us to have a situation which is going to affect every American. We are in a total crisis. We need to fix it. I warned two years ago that we were in trouble in this area. Fannie and Freddie are the classic example the inside the Beltway old boy network that we're going to fix and change that I've fought against all the time that I've been in the Congress of the United States. Well, Americans this, this, are hurting. Our workers are the best. It sounds like a populist tone you're taking on here. Workers are great. Obviously, you want them to vote for you. It's all the problem yeah. of the fat cats. But fundamentally speaking, isn't there something wrong with the fundamentals right now that's causing these nightmares that we're seeing? There's nothing wrong with the workers of America. I believe that they're the fundamentals. You may not. Others may not. I think that the worker of America is the reason why we've been the preeminent economy in the world for a long, long period of time. America is in crisis today because of greed, excess, and corruption. And people walking away with pay packages for failed enterprises and uh, inside the Beltway old boy network that led to uh, the kind of corruption that we've seen and the patchwork quilt the uh, alphabet soup of regulatory agencies, which has never been reformed. And we need a 9-11 commission, and we need a commission to figure out what went wrong and how to fix it. And I know we can do that, and I'll do it. And we've had enough. You've always been for less regulation. In fact, you told the Wall Street Journal back in March, quote, I'm always mm -hmm. for less regulation, mm -hmm. but I'm aware of the view that there's a need for government oversight. But I am fundamentally a deregulator. Recently, though, when we start to hear you say things like mm -hmm. we've got to crack down on the fat cats and the greed on Wall Street, it makes some people think you're now mm -hmm. changing your views, you want more regulation. Set the record straight for me. Oh, absolutely. Of course I don't like excessive and unnecessary regu government regulation. Ask any American citizen who is subject to bureaucracies. But the fact is, I warned about this problem a couple of years ago. I've, I am a Teddy Roosevelt Republican. Teddy Roosevelt believed that we needed a government that can function, an economy that can function without government interference. But he also said cap unfettered capitalism can breed corruption. We're seeing Teddy Roosevelt's words come true. I know how to fix it. I know how to fix it, the corruption. I've been fighting it the whole time that I've been in Congress. I know how to do it, and I still believe in the American worker and the fundamental goodness and strength and innovation of the American worker. Let me just try and draw a distinction. As people size up this economy and size up you and Senator Obama, they're going to say, okay, we know that Senator Obama wants to raise taxes on the wealthiest Americans. He wants tighter regulation. Mm -hmm. He wants to st a stronger SEC. Do you want any of those things? Well, I don't want to raise taxes on anybody. I think that would be the worst thing. He even said that he, quote, wouldn't raise taxes if the economy was bad. Well, the economy is bad. But the point is that uh, we need to fix the broken system. We need to have an FDIC that it will ensure every American's bank deposit. That may need more funds. We need to fix the regulatory system and bring it into the 21st century. Of course, we need to have oversight and regulation. And I warned about it. Greed and excess and corruption is beset Wall Street. They've treated it like a casino, and they need to be held accountable. Let me and stop you, walking away with these fat cat packages. So many people in this room today, Senator, could be watching what happens with the American insurance giant AIG. Mm -hmm. You heard Maria talking mm -hmm. about it a second ago. They need something in the neighborhood of $75 billion to become mm -hmm. secure again. What should the government do? First of all, do we even have that kind of money in the, the system? The government should not. The government, uh, of course, 
this is an, one of the outstanding and glaring examples of the of the terrible problems and corruption and greed and excess that has caused all of this fallout, which is going to harm the average American worker. No, I do not believe that the American taxpayer should be on the hook for AIG. And I'm glad that the uh, Secretary Paulson has apparently taken the same line. So if we get to the point, middle of the week, as we heard in that report, where AIG might have to file for bankruptcy, they're on their own. Well, uh, quote, on their own, uh, we have to, we cannot have the taxpayers bail out AIG or anybody else. This is, uh, this is something that we're going to have to work through. There's too much corruption. There's too much excess. We can fix it. I believe in America. We can have a 9-11 commission such as we had after 9-11 because right. this is a huge crisis. And we can come up with fixes and we can make sure that every American has a safer future, and that is to make them know that their bank deposits are safe and insured. Senator John McCain campaigning in Florida. Senator, thanks for your time this morning. Thank you.